Okay, here we are here with our new uh, acquisition, Kruno Lovrek, new striker for Sydney FC. Kruno, why did you uh, decide to come to Sydney FC? Prvo bi se zahvalio na pozivu Sydneya. Jednom sam igrao u Australiji i želim igrati ovdje. To je novo iskustvo za mene i ja se nadam da ćemo postići dogovor. First of all, I'd like to thank uh, the people involved for the opportunity to come here to Sydney. I played in Sydney once before and I've seen it was a fantastic place to be. Uh, the club I see is one of the biggest clubs in the A-League, so I thought it would be a great opportunity for me to further my career. Uh, second question is probably the most foremost that our supporters want to know is what can the fans expect from you? I can promise that I will fight for the club, that I will give 100% of myself and I hope that I will make a good result. This is a big club and I have to fight for the first. Most and foremost, uh, I'd like to say that one thing that can be guaranteed that I'll give 100% all the time. Um, that I think with the efforts of the team that we can have a fantastic season and hopefully it will be successful. And uh, the last question is, uh, what are your first impressions of the club, Sydney FC? I don't know too much about the club, but I talked to the trainer and the trainer was impressed with me. I really explained to him how we will play the other season and I was very happy with the first impression with the trainer. Tell me many questions. To be honest, I don't know much about the club, but I've spoken to the coach and uh, He's told me the way he wants to play, which I think is going to be a fantastic way of playing. And first impressions of everything around the club is fantastic. Kruno, thanks for your help and good luck this year. Thanks. Well, Ian, it's been quite a week for Sydney FC. First, we announced the new memberships. And second, we've also announced a new striker. Where did you find him? Yes, yeah, we're very fortunate to, to have got uh, Kruno over the line. A um, couple of things, uh, the reason that we got him, I mean, obviously we, was, we put our feelers out throughout the world to try and find uh, somebody who we felt could uh, do the job that we were looking for. Um, Eddie Bosner, who obviously, as uh, most Australian supporters would know, uh, been playing overseas for the past few years and he gave us some advice on on Kruno as well and we've obviously seen quite a bit of footage of him and his uh, record speaks for itself. He's somebody who can play as either a number nine or, or somebody who can play as a number ten just in behind. He's smart, technically very good, um, so really delighted to have got him on board. Just tell us a bit more about what fans can expect to see from him this year on the actual pitch. Oh, you always, uh, that's, that's something that what you hope for is um, that you hope he's going to bring his qualities, which are, he's, he, as I say, he's technically very good, very smart footballer. Um, he, he can finish, but he can also create as well. So that's, that fitted into the bracket that we wanted. We wanted somebody who was, who was capable of doing both. Um, so, yeah, look, absolutely delighted to get him over the line. And as a person, what have you liked about him so far? Uh, how humble he is for, for somebody, you know, he's played in the Asian Champions League final, so, um, you know, he's, he's got some experience at, at high level and he's just such a humble individual. Um, and the, the thing that I really like is he, he still wants to, to play, still wants to learn, uh, and that's, that for me is great. He's not looking for... Uh, a payday at the end of the day. Realistically, if he was, he wouldn't be here.